Good evening, welcome back to Lombardi Engineering. My name is Joe, and today we're going to be working on the mouse again. Uh, so I brought a couple of uh, pieces that are going to be used for making the turret, some of the functionality of that, and getting it all set up. Uh, right here, we've got my mock-up carriage. The focus of today is going to be getting that gun carriage mounted right over here on the two stanchions. I'll go right there and there. Then the carriage goes in the middle. It has a hole for the uh, the actual cannon itself that passes through, and then just a tiny hole for the small cannon. Um, as well, we're going to be putting on these pieces right here, which sort of simulate what the mouse actually had, um, which was like these roller bearings for keeping the turret so that it could roll across the um, like the upper plate of the tank and so mine won't be like as complex and complicated as the mouse actually was that's uh, my own engineering artistic freedom <laughs> that I took with this but they'll, they'll still provide the same sort of functionality they just won't have a like rocker system they'll support the turret plate about ten thousandths above the the main plate of the mouse which with plastic is going to be like oh wow it still scrapes in different places but well, with metal it would actually have like a visible separation between it if you held it up to the light let's get started first of all what I'm gonna do is tap the uh, the sides of the cannon here or the carriage but now I've got two of the R4 bearings yes these are R4 I'm going to get pressed into each side of the turret things oh boy remember always right tool for the right job fantastic and then same with the other side There we go. It's amazing when you actually push it the right way, how easily it goes into place. So there, we've got bearings on those guys. Through them will go our shoulder screws on each side. And just dig the perfect amount right into our carriage. So we can actually screw that in right now. Gorgeous. Now it moves up and down, all around. Just kidding. It's <laughs> limited to one degree of motion, which is exactly how we want. For here, I've got <coughs> a quarter twenty socket cap screws. They're going to get pushed into here, go into the recess. pop down. Okay, so I've got all four of those situated and ready to go, but I'm actually gonna take a pause here to get these ready to go, because one of those has to be installed underneath the, the carriage to, to support the front, basically. So let's get started on that. All right, got all the parts for the rollers set up. So these are going to be two R3 bearings and two 3 16 by 1 8 hex socket head shoulder screws. Going to, of course, put the shoulder screw through the bearing, which will in turn get screwed into the 3D printed part here. Wow, gorgeous. Same with the other one. Get the hole lined up here with the socket cap screw. Okay, we got those in, they're rolling freely. We're gonna go back over here 
And look at that, they actually fit this time. Amazing. It's almost like it was designed that way. So they should be sticking a little bit below the turret line. Which it is. Once I screw them down all the way. We've got our bearings set up, so now we're gonna go for the carriage. This one's gonna be super simple as well. I think everything is really simple because I designed it to be <laughs> to be as simple as possible. But yeah, these are gonna go in. Then everything goes on top of the plate here. We can put our turret main turret body on top as well as this then cannon goes in and gorgeous it sticks so of course next part is gonna be gonna be getting a servo in there so that I can move the gun up and down and then, I don't know, let's see from there, because basically it's just printing out the pieces now. I've got the whole thing designed up and ready to go. But printing out pieces, getting it all assembled, and put together. Um, final part in this series is going to be getting it electrified so that I can use my remote control and get all that going. So. Look forward to playing with motor controllers and servos and all that garbage. But uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. This has been a lot of fun. I think it's a pretty fantastic product. And I hope to see you tuning in again. See ya.